The UAE has become a very popular jurisdiction for trusts and foundations over the past several years. And no wonder, it's got a stable government, has fantastic laws for trusts and foundations that offer a host of benefits, including flexible estate and succession planning rules, privacy, great asset protection rules. And so it's no wonder that a question I've been getting a lot lately is, can I move my trust or foundation from the jurisdiction that it's currently in to the UAE? The short answer is yes. Now, before we get into how that might be possible, let me give a little bit of background. The UAE offers trusts and foundations in three of its free zones. So foundations are available in the Abu Dhabi Global Markets Free Zone, ADGM for short, in the DIFC, which is the Dubai International Financial Center, and in the Raza Kema International Corporate Center, or RAC ICC for short. Trusts are available in ADGM and DIFC, and all three of these free zones allow for inbound migrations of trusts and foundations. Obviously, RAC ICC doesn't have a trust law, so you can't migrate your trust there. You could, of course, migrate a foundation there because they do have a foundations law. If you're interested in moving your trust or foundation to one of the UAE's free zones, then we need to look at how it's possible to migrate it. And so the things we need to look at are this. Number one, does the jurisdiction that you're currently in allow for outbound migrations to another jurisdiction? Most jurisdictions allow it, but not all. If it doesn't allow outbound migrations, you're kind of stuck. You cannot move your trust or foundation because the law of the jurisdiction you're currently at does not allow outbound migrations. Assuming the jurisdiction that you're currently in does allow outbound migrations, then what we need to look at is your trust or foundation's governing document. The first thing we want to look at is does your trust or foundation allow for its migration to another jurisdiction? If it does, great you're ready to start the migration process. If it doesn't, can your trust or foundation's governing documents be amended to allow for outbound migrations? If so, great. Amend the governing documents to allow for outbound migrations, and then we can start the migration process. If they don't allow for outbound migrations and they don't governing documents to be amended to allow for outbound migrations, then we need to look and see if your trust or foundation's governing documents allow the trust or foundation to set up other trusts or foundations and transfer assets to it. If so, then you could set up a new trust or foundation in the UAE and transfer the asset from your old foundation or trust into the new one here in the UAE. If your governing documents do not allow your current trust or foundation to set up new trusts or foundations and transfer assets to them, then we need to look at whether your trust or foundation's governing documents can be amended to allow it to set up other trusts and foundations in other jurisdictions and transfer assets to it. If so, then we'd want to amend the governing documents to allow for your trust or foundation to set up other trusts and foundations in other jurisdictions and transfer assets to them. And then we can go ahead and execute that plan, transfer all the assets and shut down the old trust or foundation. If you like our content, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. And for more strategic tips on international tax and wealth planning, subscribe to our email list and follow me on LinkedIn. Links below. If your trust or foundation governing documents cannot be amended to allow it to set up trust or foundations in another jurisdiction, transfer assets to it, then what we'd want to do is look and see if it's possible to amend your foundation's documents to appoint a, a foundation or trust as a beneficiary of your current trust or foundation. That way we could set up a trust or foundation in Dubai, amend your old trust or foundation's governing documents to allow it to distribute all of the assets to your new UAE trust or foundation. Now, if that's not possible, you're kind of stuck. I mean, one thing you could consider doing is setting up a new trust or foundation here in the UAE and funding that with new assets and just don't grow your old trust or foundation anymore with new assets. Any new asset transfers you do to the new trust or foundation, you just kind of wind up with parallel structures. Whenever you're considering a migration or a restructuring of a trust or foundation, you always want to consider the tax consequences as well, right? I mean, there could be some sort of tax consequences by doing 
a migration to another jurisdiction or transferring the assets to the other jurisdiction. So you'd want to explore those to see what the tax consequences are and then make sure you can live with those tax consequences before engaging in any type of restructuring of a trust or foundation, moving assets or the foundation or trust itself to another jurisdiction. Now, one of the big benefits of migration is that it's a continuation of the same trust or foundation, right? It's not if you close one foundation, or trust and open up a new one, it's a whole new entity, which means new bank accounts, new contract, insurance if you have insurance. Whereas if you migrate, because it's a continuation of the same trust or foundation, everything can stay the same. Your bank accounts, your contract, insurance, all that stuff stays the same. That is the big benefit of being able to migrate, right? Everything stays the same. The way assets are titled, all that stuff stays the same, which is a big benefit. But migration is a paperwork intensive endeavor. It takes a lot of time and a lot of work, which means it's often more costly than simply setting up a new trust or foundation and transferring assets to it. You have to look at it. What are the costs of migration and what are the burdens going to be if I didn't migrate it and I just set up a new trust or foundation and transferred assets to it, right? You have to retitle all the assets. You need to get new bank accounts. There could be tax consequences. There could be with migration as well, but these are the things that you would want to look at. Assuming that the tax consequences are acceptable to you and migration is an option and something that you're interested in, you still need to consider whether or not migration is, is right for you or if it would be better to set up a new trust or foundation and transfer assets to it. Now, the big benefit of migration is that it's a continuation of the same trust or foundation, right? So the way assets are titled are gonna stay the same, your bank accounts will stay the same, your contracts will stay the same, if you have insurance, it would stay the same. Whereas with a new trust or foundation, you have to retitle everything, get new bank accounts and all that stuff, which is a whole administrative burden in, in and of itself. But you have to realize that migration is a very time and paperwork intensive endeavor, which means it's generally more costly than simply setting up a new trust or foundation. So you really kind of have to weigh the benefits, right? Benefit of the migration is everything stays the same, the way assets are titled, et cetera, but it is generally more costly. For example, is it more beneficial to have the higher cost of migration, but avoid the administrative burden of retitling everything, for example? So that's something that you have to weigh out. If you're interested in migrating your foundation to the UAE or potentially setting up a foundation here in the UAE, give us a call. This is something that we've done extensively. We can help you analyze the situation determine what the administrative burdens are, the costs, whether or not it's even possible to migrate, and then help you come up with a plan to migrate it and help you execute the migration itself. And if you want to learn more about trusts and foundations in general, download our trusts and foundations guide. I'll put the link down in the description.